I want to say thank you to every one of you, especially to Brother David and Sister Nora and Brother Connie. And Brother Wayne and Sister Connie for this privilege. And thank every one of you for being such a wonderful congregation tonight. And thank God for being such a wonderful God. Amen. I am going to ask uh, the four, so I don't mix names up at all. I'm going to ask these four <laughs> pastors and associate pastors to come. And then I'm going to ask uh, everyone that would and can to come and gather around them. And I'm going to read a, a few verses of Scripture here, about uh, eight or nine verses. And then we're going to have a prayer. I didn't ask Brother David. I was aiming to him before the service, ask him how he aimed to do it or what he wanted to do. He didn't tell me what to preach or how to preach or anything else. But Brother Adam, he, I felt a while ago before he even said that he wanted to pray for him to come and us gather around and pray for him. I already had this on my heart. I already had it turned to think to the, to the scripture here before we said that. 1 Kings chapter 8 goes along with what we read in Chronicles earlier. But in 1 Kings chapter 8, uh, verse 22, and again, this was the time that they had brought the ark in and the glory of God had come, like Brother David said, where the ministers, they couldn't stand to minister because of the cloud. Solomon preached a short sermon to them there and then he prayed and said, Solomon stood before the altar, oh, hallelujah to the Lord. Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the congregation of Israel and spread forth his hands toward heaven. And he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee in heaven above or on earth beneath who keepest covenant and mercy with thy servants that walk before thee with all their heart, who has kept with thy servant David, my father, Solomon speaking, that thou promised him, thou spakest also with thy mouth and hast fulfilled it with thine hand as it is this day. Therefore now, Lord God of Israel, keep with thy servant David my father that thou promised him, saying, There shall not fail thee a man in my sight to sit on the throne of Israel, so that thy children take heed to their way, that they walk before me as thou hast walked before me. And now, O God of Israel, let thy word, I pray thee, be verified, which thou spakest unto thy servant David my father. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, the heaven and heaven and Behold, the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain thee, how much less this house that I have builded. Yet have thou respect unto the prayer of thy servant and to his supplication, O Lord my God, to hearken unto the, and thou prayer, hearken prayer. Unto the prayer which thy servant shall make toward this place. And verse 30 says, And hearken thou to the supplication of thy servant and of thy people Israel when they shall pray toward this place. And hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and when thou hearest, forgive. I believe that this is a place for the Lord. I've, I can't have to see anymore. Get it for me there if you don't care how keep it. Oh, there it is. Uh, but I believe this is a house that's dedicated unto God just as much as Solomon dedicated the temple to God meant that. I believe this is a God, a place that God has sanctified us. I've already preached a lot, and I'm not going to preach a whole lot now. But I just believe that this is a place that God has ordained. And I want everyone that would like to and can, as I anoint the associate pastor and his wife, the pastor's wife, the first lady of the church, and the pastor. And if you're seated, then just reach your hands this way. If you're gathered here, lay your hands on it. <laughs> Let's all pray God's blessings that the Spirit of God would always be here. I've, I have really, really felt the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this house tonight. And it's a place, that's what we need in today's time, a place where God will be lifted up and people can get their needs met. Father, we stand before you tonight, and Lord, I know that I'm nothing, God, but just the man that you have called. God, I stand here before my brothers and sisters in Christ before this congregation in the presence of God Almighty. And Father, I thank you, Lord, for the presence of God that we felt here. I thank you, God, for the fellowship, the love that we've experienced uh, with these people, God, not only tonight, but down through the years. God, I thank you, Lord, for the promise that we have, Lord, that someday after a while, 
Lord, we're going to have a time of fellowship that we can't even begin to imagine. But God, we pray tonight, God, in this wicked hour that we're living, in this time that the Word of God is just trodden underfoot and it's twisted and it's turned and people shun you and shun your Word. I'm thankful for people that still love you and I'm thankful that there's still places, God, that have been sanctified and been ordained of God to be a place where people can come into God. Lord, they can feel the love of the Holy Ghost. It's not a place that's been uh, sanctified, Father, to glorify man, but it's a place, God, that has been sanctified to be a light in the wilderness. God, I pray that the Spirit of God would anoint this work. God, the Spirit of God would go out around this neighborhood and reach people. God, even to the point that as they pass up and down the roadway, God, there will be a drawing and there will be a stirring, God. And I pray, Father, by Almighty God tonight that this will always be a sanctified place where people can come in and leave their sins, leave their addictions, leave their illnesses, leave their battles, their sorrows, and their troubles behind. And where the Holy Ghost, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, will minister. And God, it will be a place where the Shekinah glory of God always rests. Always anoint this place, God, and always bless your servants. And again, God, may it always be the house of God where you'll be glorified. Father, we'll give you all the praise, all the glory for all things. And all the people said, Amen.